Hi guys! Sorry it's been so long since I vlogged. I think my last one was like back in January. The truth is, I've been super busy traveling. Morning from Sweden. Another day in Los Angeles. Evening from Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm here at Yamaha. Well, we're here at Opus 4 Studios recording strings today. Lego Man. We're getting ready for the concert tonight. Which we're working on a new album, recording sessions. Being a mom, I have kids. This is my four-year-old who refuses to wear shorts and I put him in shorts. Um, just the whole shabam. So things have been really busy. Thanks for those sticking in there with me and not thinking that I'm ignoring you or whatever. So I just kind of wanted to do a quick vlog on a couple of the award shows that I went to this year. I went to the Round Glass Awards in New York City and also the Global Peace Song Awards in Los Angeles. And I apologize in advance. I've been doing a lot of Insta stories on Instagram and the best way to do those is by filming things vertical. Obviously for vlogging purposes, it would've been better if they were widescreen and I just didn't do that. So sorry if that bugs you. Do you see my chair going down right now? I need a new office chair. Just a little bit. So, fresh faced, soon to be makeup face. for a second and talk about this because that was so embarrassing. I am the worst at giving award acceptance speeches. Like I have gone to award shows where I either 
totally forgot to thank people that actually came and were sitting in the audience. I um, have totally blanked out. I've been a ball of nerves. I don't know what to say. For this award ceremony, Jeremy and I had three nominations between the two of us, and we were just kind of like trying to figure out how to divvy this up in case we won. And so before the award ceremony, we were like, okay, if we win for this one, then you talk, and then if we win for this one, then you talk. And okay, really, the moral of the story and the lesson to be learned is just never assume that you're gonna win anything and just live in the moment and enjoy it because at the end of the night, we just won the one and we didn't win for the others. And so we're up there. That was the one that Jeremy was supposed to, we agreed Jeremy was gonna give the acceptance speech for that one. And then he turned the microphone over to me and I totally froze and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, wait, 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 we agreed that I wasn't gonna talk. And I didn't know what to say, and I was just like, hmm, thank you. And I felt like such an idiot. And not only that, but, you know, like being in front of all of your peers, and they're watching you, the one, like, peers that you highly respect in the music industry, and you're just up there, like, feeling like a total dork. Um, yeah, and then for the rest of the night, I had so many people asking me, like, why didn't you talk? Why didn't you give an acceptance speech? And I'm just like, it's because I'm the dork, and I froze, and I didn't know what to say, so. There you have it, one of my finer acceptance speech moments. Today, but they got moved and or canceled things have uh, my plans have changed like five times since I've been here but, so today I'm going to try and go find a beach because I have some extra time oh and this is my lovely hotel room I'm trying to do this trip on the cheap so I'm gonna super eight this time so I made a stop at one of my favorite places the temple the Mormon temple and I'm here in Los Angeles and it's just oh my gosh I have to admit though I'm not used to this much sun and I'm dying and I didn't wear sunscreen. I'm from Seattle. Hello, I'm at the beach and this is my friend Kendra. Hi. She's gonna have a baby in like a week or two. A week or two. <laughs> Another day in Los Angeles. Today I'm getting ready to go have um, coffee with cellist Tina Guo. I actually don't drink coffee. I'm probably gonna have hot cocoa. Um, yum yum yum. And then I have the Global Peace Song Awards after which. Oh, and I also I need to get this is my dress for tonight, and I need to pick up safety pins because it's like I tried it on last night and it's like super. Super low cut, and I'm not trying to make this a booby show, so I'm gonna pick up some safety pins and see what I can do. 
I'm very, very excited and relieved to be able to finally start recording for the remote session that I'm doing today for uh, the lovely Jennifer Thomas, who is absolutely amazing, amazing composer. She also plays the piano, uh, she plays the violin, and so I'm uh, I'm actually going to be seeing her for coffee tomorrow morning, uh, but tonight I am doing a session, so that's what I'm recording on the acoustic cello. I just got here with the amazing Tina Quinn. Not so amazing. Amazing Jennifer Thomas. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> She's an amazing cellist and just an amazing person, nicest person in the world. And we had lunch and it was so fun. It was awesome. It was delicious. We had omelets with yes. bacon. It was awesome. <laughs> anyway. Here I am. This took me 35 minutes. I think that's a world record from hair, makeup, and dress and getting ready. But I've got to fight LA traffic. Here you go. So. <laughs> Welcome to the second annual Global Peace Song Award Ceremony. As today also represents Earth Day, our GPSA ceremonies will also be musically honoring and celebrating this day of the greater reverence for Mother Earth and all of the precious beings that she divinely allows to inhabit our collective home. As to the... We're thankful that you are all here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm excited to be here to celebrate these amazing artists who are here for peace. If you're excited, please let us hear you. I see no hope, no love. All we do is pay. Like we ain't believe in Let us forgive the beast with poetry and drown the devil that lives inside the light with an ever-present flow. Let the angels take flight, heaven bound, spin around and stare straight into the gate of hate. Create another state. It is never too late to appreciate. Karen, Peter, in our next winning category, music video. We welcome to the stage the jury panel winner, Jennifer Thomas, for her music video, Alleluia. of love in this room and a reverence in this space and I'm so grateful. Thank you to GPSA and the panel for this amazing organization in the awards and um, this video, the song that I wrote, it's called Alleluia and it has Latin text, uh, Eta Terra Pax, which means peace on earth. And the story is about a little shepherd boy who loses his sheep and he goes on a journey to find it. And there's a second story going on with a homeless runaway tr troubled teen. And um, the whole concept is that even those who are lost can be found and everyone is capable of being saved again. And there's so many people I would thank, the filmmakers and the editors and um, the choir and orchestra. So many, too many to list, but most of all I just want to thank my husband and my children who um, without them I would be nothing and not doing any of this, so I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. We just finished the Global Peace Song Awards and it's kind of crazy in here. In this gorgeous, gorgeous church. Um, it was a beautiful ceremony. I feel so honored to have won for Best Video for Alleluia. And um, there's so many amazing other musicians. I felt very inspired to be here today. And um, yeah, I have to run now though. I'm actually late. I have to head to a concert, um, which is about 30 minutes away at UCLA. So. I just got done with the Peace Song Awards and I am at a stoplight. I promise I'm not driving and doing this. But I haven't even had time to like post about the awards at all. And I'm running to the next thing, so. 
okay, now I'm driving. Anyway, I'm going to try and post some things when I can, but um, it's just been a crazy day. I have to, I'm running late to meet Armin at the concert, so. Hey, uh, I'm here with Armin. Hey, <laughs> is this live thing? Yeah. No, I mean, no, no. they were going to go in here. Oh, wait, it's are the we, artist uh, entrance it's the artist at UCLA. Hi, are <laughs> we're backstage here. Hi, Rob. Hey. intermission and I need to stretch my legs. You guys, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since this morning. I'm dying. Oh, feed me. finished Ar Armin's amazing oh, yeah. chamber orchestra concert. <laughs> um, they had one really weird piece. We're loitering in, in the parking lot right now. <laughs> <laughs> so Armin gave me this gift and it's pretty cool. I'm going to show it to you. Okay, do you know who that is? Isn't it like showing upside down? Or uh, I think it'll, <laughs> hopefully it'll flip it. <laughs> but what is this, Armin? Well, this is a chart that we just recorded a song from a new uh, 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 Alan Menken show and there's a song Alan Menken wrote yeah, Beauty and the Beast and like all the Disney stuff yeah and he wrote uh, this little song that Sarah Silverman of all the people Sarah Silverman came oh, in the studio and sang with a very very thin cute little voice and uh, I had this opportunity I had to approach Alan and I said look uh, Jennifer and I did this video <laughs> you know about a year ago about Beauty and the Beast and now we're doing the Beauty and the Beast live at the Hollywood Bowl in May so you're going to be there so it's like Anything you can write out, you know, it's like she has got a really cool arrangement and I'm gonna give it to you, so I'm gonna link it forward and so I asked I yeah. asked him to scribble something. There you are. There you go. In purple. Looks so he like signed it. the beast theme. So, and he yeah, he tried to write the beast out on the paper, but isn't that so cool? I'm gonna keep this up. I'm gonna frame this. <laughs> okay. Good morning, it's five thirty and I'm on the bus. Airport. My alarm didn't go off, but thank goodness I woke up at 4.45 and I got packed and out in 15 minutes. And then I totally went to the wrong place to return my rental car, like 10 miles difference. But I finally found the rental place, so I'm here. And I'm like freaking out that I'm going to miss my flight, but thankfully it is delayed. So I'm actually on time. Walkers over here, Stormtrooper and R2D2.